Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Mandy Dennis, and I am an account manager here with Remind. I wanted to take a few minutes to show you guys how to create a CMA within our Remind system. Remind does offer a simple and a quick and efficient way to create a CMA. So even though in today's market, listings are going as fast as we can even turn around, we still know that we always have to at least try to price our listings appropriately in no matter what type of market we're in. So in order to create a CMA, first I'm gonna start and I'm going to enter the address of my subject property. So at the top box here, I'm going to enter my subject property address. So this particular subject property that I'm going to be working with today is part of a condo complex. So sometimes it is tricky when you are searching for your particular address. And especially if it's like this, it has apartment numbers or a condo or building number. Um, so if you are not seeing your address when you're typing it in the top box in these first three results, just scroll over to see all results and then it should give you a list of all of those addresses in that particular building. So from here, I'm looking for 206. So there's my address. So I'm gonna click on my address. So this is going to be my subject property. So I am going to create, going to go over here to create CMA and I'm going to choose Remind CMA here. The next screen I'm gonna to get to is basically our screen of where we're going to enter our criteria. So this particular listing, my subject property that I'm working with is a one bedroom. So I'm gonna modify some of this criteria that's entered. It is a one bath. So let's just say one to two baths. Square footage that I have is 875. So let's go from 800 to 1000. The year built is 2002. So I'm gonna go from 2000 to 2005. Going to skip the number of the floors, lot size, and parking, but the building type is condo. So I'm going to select that. And then listing status. So here's where I can choose my statuses as far as where I want to pull my comps from. I am, of course, going to scroll down to closed on MLS, trying to get any of those properties that's similar to this that has been closed on the MLS. But another great option that I have to use is this closed off MLS option. So basically, these are properties that would have recently sold that just never hit the market. So more than likely for sale by owners. Um, so especially if I'm working with a property, a subject property that you just can't find many comps on, especially on the MLS, sometimes it's helpful then to come here to Remind to do a CMA here to be able to pull those recently closed off MLS, those four um, for sale by owner listings um, to use those as comps because sometimes you can find some really good comps that way. So that's a little tidbit of information to use. So I could add a list price or uh, sold price here. I'm not going to. Um, so then my sold time frame I'm going to be looking at. So this is going to be looking at um, from September last year to current date. I can go as far as my radius, how many miles out from my property. I'm just gonna go five miles out just to see what we have. Um, you can do a custom distance. Basically, I can take my drawing tool here and I can actually draw a particular area that I'm looking at, but I'm gonna leave mine as five mile radius here. So I can come over here to my map. I can scroll this map out so I can see what it does that those five miles look like. Um, if I want to check this out as far as the satellite view, I can change that view to satellite to see what I'm looking at. So once I'm good with my criteria, I'm just going to simply hit search. So one thing to note here 
you will note all the criteria that you used is listed up here at the top. So if I'm looking at this and I feel like I need to edit something, I can always go to edit criteria right here and edit anything that I've entered. So it looks like I have five results. So let's look here. We have four that was closed on the MLS. And interesting enough, there's one of those properties that was closed off the MLS that came up. So from here, basically, I can see these properties on the map over here. So I'm going to scroll my map out just a little bit so you can see. So I can see my subject property back here. It's kind of hidden right there. Um, but then again, let's just scroll in just a little bit. So I can see where these properties are located here as far as how close it is to my, um, to my subject property there. So if I want to look at the details, so you can see I'm, I'm scrolling over um, comp number one. You can see it's kind of highlighting itself on the map. It's showing as an M there. So I can click on this if I want to see the details, just to see if I want to use this as a comp or not. So I can scroll down, look at all the details on this particular listing or this particular property to see if I want to use it. Um, so I'm just going to go back to that. That one looks fine. This one I'm probably not going to use because you can see it looks like that was a property that was for lease. So if there's anything that I want to remove, I can simply just click on my remove button there and that will remove that particular comp. If I decide for whatever reason I need to add something back, I can simply just hit the add button. So again, once you scroll through here, you can see, so there's listing five. You can see it's highlighting that on the map of where that is located. So if I am good with these comps that are listed here, I'm just going to simply hit save and continue. So on this particular screen, you're going to get to customize your report. So I can choose a color scheme. We do offer color schemes from different franchises around. Um, also, you can create your own customized color scheme from here, but I'm going to choose the Remind color scheme. If you'll note, you can upload your company logo and your agent photo here as well. If you've already uploaded those things within settings within Remind, they're going to automatically populate here for you. So you don't have to worry about adding those here. Um, so I can add the name of my clients. Let's just say where you're doing this for the Browns um, and then prepared by your name is going to be listed there as well. So that gives you a preview of what your um, customized report is going to look at, look like. So if I am good with this, I'm going to hit save and continue to get to my report. So again, you will see that um, who it's prepared for, who was prepared by. You will see the market range, the market value range here. It's going to compare the listing range, the average list price with the sold range and the average sales price. The average days on market, you're going to have the list versus sale price difference and the estimated value. The area demographics of the neighborhood. You will see a couple of valuations there, and then we'll get down to the comps that you use, and it will give some more details on those comps um, as far as what status they were in, what is the details on those properties, you will see those. So once I am good with this report, I can simply print this, which is going to basically print to a PDF. So I can select print. It will ask me to name my file. Do I want to print the images or not? I have that option. And I can either choose to include the valuations or not to when I print this report. So I can simply hit print. It's going to export this to a PDF file. So from there, there's where my download is. So from there, I am going to receive a PDF file that I can either choose to print out and hand deliver, or I can attach that PDF to an email. So a simple, super simple way that you can see it only took us about five minutes to complete a CMA and you have something that is very professional and polished looking to give to your client. So thanks again for joining us today and have a great day.